My name's Danella Nash. I'm 42 years old and I had a heart attack three months ago. Adele's an incredible woman. Um, so she had a heart attack, but not in the way people normally have heart attacks. She had something called spontaneous coronary artery dissection. It's basically where one of the arteries to the heart tears, just spontaneously, completely out of the blue. Now in Dell's case, she had this happen in the biggest artery of her heart, so she had a massive heart attack. So it was Saturday the 11th of February, um, it was my dad's birthday. Um, we were getting ready to go out for dinner, we were having a big family dinner. Um, I was putting on makeup and I just suddenly felt really sick. I was dripping with sweat. I pulled off my shirt because I was just burning up and then I passed out on the bed. I knew it was something really major to come on that quick. And I said to Phil, you know, you need to take me to hospital now. Yeah. And he said, do you want me to call an ambulance? And I said, you don't have time. I was driving one arm and trying to hold it with the other arm and police yeah. chased us into the <laughs> hospital. So I wasn't going to sort of go, oh, let's shut the door and turn the car no, off. No, no. And <laughs> oh, you're right there, babe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah no, I just yeah. sort of didn't have much time. No, I just, you didn't. And I just grabbed her and was holding her like this and I just screamed out, my wife's having a heart attack. And my heart stopped. stopped at the door. My main artery at the yeah. front of my heart yeah. burst yeah. and I bled out. From the time Del came to hospital, we were all really concerned as to how she would go. Um, really the odds were stacked against her. So she was put on to a very invasive form of life support called ECMO. Uh, unfortunately, she got a big clot inside the left ventricle. So we had to rush. That afternoon she had an LVAD put in. So these are the Elvads, are mechanical hearts. Oh wow. And this is the first one. Yes. Huge beast, we call the dinner plate. It was too big mm. for women. It sort of attaches to the heart there, mm. comes up to the aorta. Huge pipes, but a huge electrical huge cable. Yeah. So this one mm. came with its own shopping trolley. I remember that. <laughs> it was noisy, patients were stuck in hospital. They were. This is the one we used from about 2006 mm -hmm. onwards, and this is still our main pump. We have a, a lady that we've met for this show um, who had uh, spontaneous coronary artery dissection, and this is very similar to what she's got. She's a very small lady. She's yes. only about 50 kilos. Yeah. You know, say 10, 15, 20 years ago, yeah. she, that was, she Not had no option. option. No. Yep. So this has the battery pack for the pump. That cord goes into my stomach, into my heart. You do actually get 15 minutes of power if all the other power fails. So I had a power surge in the middle of the night at home and that went off. Yeah. And it's not a very nice way of waking up. Just going to connect Dell up to the monitor. Um, so from that we can see the rate of Dell's heart. So because of VAD, um, you can't take a manual pulse like you would with a, a normal person. <laughs> I know my daughter had a hard time accepting mummy didn't have a heartbeat. So if I listen and nerd out on your heart, <laughs> I love it. So my normal heart beats and it squeezes intermittently. It goes lubbed up, lubbed up, lubbed up. But Dell's heart, well, her pump, her LVAD, pumps continuously. So she doesn't get that whooshing that you feel a pulse. So she has no pulse. <laughs> Whirring. I like that it sounds good. I like that it sounds like it's working. You know when you see on your Facebook, yeah. you know, life's short. Yeah, yeah. Cherish every minute. Life yeah, yeah. can change in a yeah, split yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. And then this happens and you're like, wow, they were right. 